Hey guys, welcome back to Games Making Games. In today's video, we are going to learn how to create a beautiful scene like this one from the duplicated first world. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Gents, let's dive into it. All right, guys, uh, here is where we stopped last time. So we were trying to create or redesign our new world too. So this was a new scene that we duplicated from the first one. Now we needed to change some basic stuff. So I'm going first to analyze a little bit this. I'm going to see if I'm on the good layer. Because all of these look confusing. Okay, I'm on the first layer, so I'm moving a little bit weirdly. Now I'm going to design all of this. I'm going to start with the ground one selected, as you can see on the right side. I'm going just to redesign all of this. I bet you guys already know how to design a level. I'm going to make exactly the same. I'm going to make make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to move all of this around, trying to fill the details, the borders, the side, the corners, and everything has to be perfect. Then as long as you are drawing perfectly, you can just copy from one layer to another layer. This time, as you can see, no need to go to the inspector to select the layer. Just click on the layer you need to draw on the right side. As you can see, I agree. I'm on green grass, that's why I'm drawing on the green grass now. As you can see, I can just copy and pass and copy and pass and every time is make it faster and easier. Although the video is, is on full speed animation, but, but take a little bit time to finish the details, to make the corner more smoother, to finish all the details. Go back to dry grass, now I'm going to do the same, I'm going to design it better to make it very smooth very very nice you can make your new level even bigger than mine i just didn't want to waste a lot of time because i think if i didn't put video on full speed we could reach the 45 minutes while designing just the layer so guys i really hope you enjoy my tutorials if you really want to learn more about tile map and how they work, I can make a special video about it. Just let me know down in the comments. So I'm going to do the same for bridges. I'm going to put the small details. I'm going to add bridge everywhere needed. It's already looking better. So I'm going to save this. This is great. I'm going to shadow. Now I'm going to add some shadow. The found okay here is the shadow all right Jen I don't know for you I don't know if you switch it also from Godot 4.1 to photo Godot 4.2 but I feel like my Godot 4.3 is not that smooth as I used to it, it used to be on the 4.1 version I don't know if it's my computer that is slower or just the Godot so looks smaller I'm going to make this all small decal visible perfect go back to nodes and now all these decorations are visible again I'm going to enable all this made them visible. I don't know why I'm clicking one by one. You could just select all of them then by pressing from the first one to the last one by maintaining shift. You could already see all of them. I'm going to make the trees also like this from the first to the last shift. Then now they are all visible. All right. Seems very nice. All of these are visible now. Oh, I forget the shadow there. So right click and erase it. Very nice. Very, very nice. Looks smooth. Now I'm going to run the game. I 
as I said, is a little bit slow. My bad. If you run the game by then, no, we're going to run the first word. So click on this other icon to run the current scene, the open scene, so that we can see our progress. As you can see, yes, my player is moving, but I can't move. I'm blocked by some things. I can play my animation. As you can see, it's a little bit smoother than the two previous video is smoother, but I can pass this line. I can go out of the trees. We need to do a lot of adjustments after all of this. Okay. So as you can see, looks very smooth. The animations a, a bit. I don't like just the way I'm passing through the tree when I'm playing my animation. So let's close this a little bit. We are going to the I'm going to the dry grass and the bridge. I'm going to select all of this, lock them. Okay. Now I'm going to decoration. I'm going to select from the first element to the last element, press shift, then to unlock all of them, control, shift, and L. It's a really cool shortcut, control plus shift plus L to unlock, and control plus L to lock them. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move all these trees on the ground and some other strategic places. I don't want the tree to be gathered on the same region. So I'm going to move on the new plot of lands, all of this. Great, great. I'm going to duplicate them up to 15. I need maybe 15 of them. I'm going to put them on my layer. Now select and lock them again. Very nice. Very nice. Now we are going to check the collision. That's what was blocking me because I didn't know. So what I'm going to do now is to delete all of this. I'm going to create it again. I don't know, guys, maybe if you know a shorter way to do it, but for me, I feel like I'm just going to start over from scratch. So by selecting that, add the elements, because we deleted the previous element. What is happening? I can move it. OK, I feel like it's because it's locked here. Now it's unlocked, but I can draw. Well, I'm going to press here, or I'm going to unlock the parent nodes. The parent node was was also logged. So now I'm going to press there and start drawing. All right, guys. Now it's just following the borders, following the corners. As you can see, I'm going to do it very quickly. But for you, take your time, pause the video and do it very cautiously because these limits determine where your player can go and can't go if you put them in the wrong way it's going to block your character now i'm going just to adjust some centimeters i can say very few millimeters that i miss okay this is great all right very very great Sounds very great to me. Move it a little bit there. And oh my god, I'm moving now everything. Gen, a very cool shortcut when you made a mistake is just by pressing Ctrl Shift and Z or Ctrl Z to undo. And I think Ctrl Shift Z is to redo. So when you made a mistake, rather than looking for undo and redo, you can just press Ctrl Z or Ctrl Shift plus Z. Okay, this is some very cool shortcut that I learned through the years using Godot. Now let's move it a little bit. I feel like some of these contain some mistakes, so maybe later on I'll I'll correct them. Alright, now I'm going to control L to lock it and hide it. I'm going to reduce this. All right, seems perfect to me. Let's run this current scene to check the collisions. Well, well, now let's move around. I can now cross this line. I can go to the tree. I can pass this line. I couldn't pass it since 
the collision were wrong. Now I can move around. Bad guys seeing this, I just remember we didn't make a camera to the that's why we can't see the full size of uh, our screen. The, the camera can't follow the player yet, maybe on the next part of the video or later on we can add a camera to our player. This is so much better. I feel like guys you can make a bigger one. Then if you if you have a camera, we can the camera can really follow the player all around the things you made. Nice. Now I'm going to also reveal these goblins. I'm going to unlock them and move them also. Maybe here I want to put all this, all of them off oh, is locked also. So I'm going to unlock the characters and move them. I'm going to put my archer right here and the pawn down here. Save the scene. Sound great to me. Run it again. Very, very smooth. Very smooth animations. Now I'm, I'm on the level one. I made some mistake again. Don't forget to press on that on that specific icon to run the current scene and not the, the main scene or I can see the principal scene. The collision are great. The animation are a little bit smoother. I can play my animation. I can move around. Sound very good to me. So I'm going to put it on full screen so that we can see. Now guys, we have reached the end of the video. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment down below. Especially don't forget to share to your friends if they are interested in making games, especially with Godot. So guys, see you very soon for the next video.